Hi, in this video I'll show you how you can connect a file to Tableau and then create a beautiful dashboard. So the first thing that we would like to do is after opening the Tableau des desktop as you see on my screen, I'd like to go to connect under the connect pane. We have multiple options and mine is an Excel file so I click on Excel and I'll select the file that I want to import and I'll click on open and uh, I'll drag my, I have two sheets, so one is the sales data and the other is the customer ID. Before we get started with the visualizations, I'd like to show you my Excel sheet. So there is one slight issue that we have here. We have the customer ID in the sales data sheet as well. And we have a customer ID sheet in which we have customer ID and customer name. So if I wanted to map my customer, if I wanted to have my customer name in my sales data, what I would have done is I would have inserted a column and customer name and then I would have used VLOOKUP and then I would have gotten the name as this as such so I would have to have use I would have to use VLOOKUP. So you see that this is a time consuming process. So you don't want to do this. So I'll delete this and I'll show you what you can do in Tableau. So as you've seen, we have a customer ID over here as well. And we have the customer ID in the sales data. But in the sales data, we don't have the customer name. So now when I go back to my Tableau software, what I'll do is I'll drag my sales data into this blank space. So you see that I get all the columns and I'll also drag my customer ID. Now when I drag another sheet, it creates a union, union. So now you see that I have my customer ID, I have my customer name, I have my columns from the sales sales data sheet, and now I don't need this column. So what I'll do is I'll just right click and I'll hide this column. Once you've done that, everything is in order. So now what you do is you come to the left bottom here and click on sheet one. And this is where we'll be creating our first visual. Unlike Power BI in Tableau on one sheet, you can create only one visual. Whereas in Power BI on one sheet, you can create multiple visuals. So now we'd like to start with something simple. So what I'll do is I will uh, first take my sales and I'll have my region in here in my rows. And so I could maybe have a bar chart, horizontal bars as these are called and I could also have a stacked bar and you see that I have the four regions and the total sales for each region so you can have your ship mode as well so for different for the four ship modes you see that the four regions have different types different amount of sales and you could have your profit in your tooltip so that along with the sales you can see the profit as well as I hover above each of these regions you can see that there is a region which is each ship mode which is standard class profit and sales you could also take out regions from colors and drag it and put it into rows and then you can have your maybe you can have your um, category in your colors so three different categories that is office supplies techno technology furniture office supplies are being divided over here and you can obviously see the profit and the sales so this is the first visual that we have created it's quite simple nothing much complicated in this video and now i'd like to click on the new worksheet symbol and i'll create another worksheet and here i'd like to create a map so for a map we would need our states i just drag my states in here and once i do that i'm not seeing anything and that is because right now i'm in india and tableau software is automatically detecting my location as india but if i go back to my excel sheet to look at the data the states that i have the cities that i have they from all of them are from us California, Kentucky, Washington, Michigan, Texas, Illinois, Pennsylvania. So now this is an issue. 
so what you have to do is come to the map option here click on edit locations and right now my location is showing as India you just click on the down arrow click on India search for United States and press enter and click OK and within a second you'll see that all my states have been marked so now there are two maps available in Tableau so this is a symbol map and this is a normal map in Power BI you would have called this a filled map so we'll be working with the filled map right now and right now I just see the name of the states so I could add my states to my label so that I see the name of each of the states that is also something that you can do apart from that you can add obviously add your sales in here so sales has been added to color that means that a lighter blue means that the sales are lowest and the darker blue means that the sales are highest sales are highest in California so if you don't want that to happen you could take out sales from colors and just have sales uh, one second yeah you could have sales in you could add that to the sheet apart from that you could obviously have your regions in here so that would divide the entire thing into three four regions but if you don't want that you could take out the regions and you could add regions to colors as well so that the entire thing breaks up and now you don't have sales in your color if you want to further look into the cities you could for the amount and if you want sales as well in here you could add sales in here sales has come under detail right now it's not coming coming under colors see the sees the sales you could add profit tooltip so you see profit as well and if you want a deeper analysis you can click on the small plus sign that is here in the sales so this one is my label and this my is my detail so you click on the plus sign and once you do that you see all the cities within each of the states so you can have this as well I'd minimize that right now so this is the second visual that we have created we have four different regions and when we hover over each of the state we can see near the state and we can also see that directly because we have added that you can obviously add the sales to the label as well so that you see the sales amount as well so you don't need the sales to be in your tooltip you could take that out even from your detail so you see the sales in your label and you obviously see the profit because it is added to the tooltip so now we'll create a third visual right now this one will be let's see what we can do let's create a pie chart and one more thing that I'd, I'd like to show you is so we have different visuals here and if you hover your mouse over each visual it will show you the minimum things that you need to create this visual so for a Gantt chart Gantt view you need one date one or more dimensions or zero to two measures similarly for a pie chart you would need one or more dimensions and one or two measures so let's have my subcategory in here and my category in here so now I need one or more dimensions and I need one or two measures and I want my sales in here one second yeah and now once we fulfill this condition we know that these are the ones that have been highlighted are the ones that you can use are the ones that you can use right now so I, could, I would click on a pie chart and I want to expand this one second let's take out subcategory and let's have my category in there let's have my category in colors and let's increase the size yes so this is quite simple you could obviously take out category and have your subcategory in here and take this out from here and you could add your regions in columns you could add your subcategory to colors and then for the different regions you would see the different sales amount 
So this is how it would look for the four regions, the four sales amount. You could also, you know, take out the regions and have maybe the segments. So you would have three different segments and across those segments, you would see the different subcategories in here. You can also, uh, I'd like to do one. So these are the three visuals that we created. So first we created a stacked bar visual. Second, we created a fill map. We first created a symbol map and then we went into a filled map. And third, we created a pie chart that has the three segments showing different subcategories in each of the segments and the sales amount of each. And similarly, if I add my profit to my label, you will obviously see the profit directly. And then you will be, when you hover over it, you will obviously see the sales as well as the profit. So now when you come on the new worksheet symbol, right click and click select new dashboard. So now once we are in the new dashboard view, what I'd like to do is I would uh, first, what you would want to do is you would have to obviously drag the visuals in here. So it's simple drag and drop. But right now you don't, it doesn't look very good. That's because the size is not fixed. So right now you see a range, you could have a fixed size, you could do that as well, or you could have a automatic wherein you get a larger view. Now, I obviously want to reduce the size of the pie chart. Actually, I'll delete this and then I'll add it again. So that I'll reduce the size of this as well. At sheet three, we have it here. So you see the different subcategories, but right now we'd only like to focus on the consumer region. So we'll only be showing that one. So this is how you create a dashboard in Tableau. And remember that Tableau public is a free software. You get a free student license for one year. So whatever you save will be saved on the Tableau public website. So if you want to save this, uh, you'll have to take screenshot because if I click on save, the two options I have, ha I have is save to Tableau public and save to Tableau public as. So let's do that as well. So once I click control S, I would have to re rename this. So this is my super store dashboard. I will save this. And once it is saved, it automatically opens up public Tableau public. And once Tableau public is open, you can see your dashboard in here. It's beautiful. So you have your dashboard in here. You can see the entire dashboard. It's completely interactive as well. So if someone else, if you want to share this with someone else, you could do that as well as a link. You, could, you have that option as well. So you have the reset option, you have the download and down from here, you can download it as a PDF, as a PowerPoint, as a Tableau workbook. But first to download, you would have to save it on the Tableau public website, and then only you will be able to download this. So if I want this, I could have this as a PowerPoint and I want the, all the three sheets and I'll click on download. And this will just take a second. I'll save it on my desktop, Superstore dashboard. It's a PowerPoint. I'll click OK. And just to give you a look how it is, how it looks. So you come here, enable editing. So you have your stat bar. You have the field map. See? And you have the three pie charts. There were four of them, but uh, one thing. No, sorry, there were three of them. And these are not interactive right now, okay? Because these are just images. So these are not interactive. 
if you want to interact with the visual you can come to the website or you can go to the tableau software that you have installed on your pc and then you can interact with the visuals so thank you i hope you learned something new